Lila, before I get to your question, I want to talk to you a little bit about how these videos are made. When I get your question, which will come either from your parents or from your teacher, I move to my desk, set up the iPad, and I start talking to the camera. I do this without much planning because I want it to feel as much as possible like Steam Lab. Um, one of my very favorite things is the start of Steam Lab when kids ask me questions and we get to have a discussion about whatever uh, question was brought up. Now, I'm bringing that up now because your question is how are erasers made? Erasers are closely linked to mistakes and I wanted you and everyone watching to realize uh, that when I make these videos, I make a lot of mistakes. I know kids in Steam Lab can often get frustrated uh, by making mistakes, but honestly, mistakes are a big and very important part of learning. And I think you remember the poster on my wall that says, mistakes are proof that you're trying. Now, uh, you know what I feel about mistakes. The answer I have for you about how erasers are made um, is actually quite a short answer. We'll do that in a moment. But then immediately after my answer, I'm gonna play some video clips of me making mistakes in making these videos. So, Lila in second grade wants to know how are erasers made? Lila, I have here two erasers, uh, a white vinyl one and a pink rubber one. No matter what the eraser is made out of, the process is the same. I should mention this is rubber, but it's not rubber uh, from a tree. It's a synthetic rubber. This is rubber. This is plastic. They take those materials in separate um, factories and they add a lot of chemicals, some oil, which keeps the rubber uh, soft and able to crumble. Uh, they knead it the same way you would knead bread. They bake it also the same way you would bake bread, but not at such a high temperature. And then they cool it in water and cut it to the appropriate shape. The white erasers always tend to have very sharp edges. The pink ones have a beveled edge, which means a slanted edge and very soft rounded edges. And looking at this in the camera, I am struck by uh, how beautiful that looks. Once they've cut the erasers to the right shape, they box them and ship them to you. And that's as much as I can tell you about how erasers are made. Now, for the rest of this video, please enjoy Mr. Gerald making mistakes. I owe you an answer and I'm gonna to try to give it in less than three minutes. Your question was, what how, what? <laughs> Your question is, is, is this the laws that the laws the the vinyl that snip the end of it off with a sharp it turns out that cat is a facility in Svalbard, no norway they hold 400 uh, and although it's out of fashion there was a time when a person i got to the in costa rica <laughs> the next question comes from Joseph in third grade. Jojo, this question was difficult for me. Oh, it's stuck. And um, has a ton of mass, which... At least in fifth grade. <laughs> this is all to say, Lila, that mistakes happen and in some cases they happen a lot don't get discouraged though always try your best i'm very proud of you thank you so much for your question thank you everybody for watching and i'll see you in the next video